This is Rachel Mwansa of Mongu, Western Province. She is 10 years old and seems not to be too well. Rachel has been diagnosed with malaria and has been put on anti-malaria treatment. Rachel has become one of the many beneficiaries of the last mile distribution that medical stores carries out throughout the country. According to the World Health Organization, many diseases can be effectively treated, managed or prevented with pharmaceuticals and vaccines if administered correctly and on time. Medicines, vaccines and other pharmaceutical products are developed as a result of innovation by researchers and pharmaceutical companies. Access to effective medicines and vaccines requires a well-coordinated system which ensures quality in selection, procurement, distribution, correct prescription, dispensing and correct use by patients. Multiple delivery systems involving the public and private sector, who frequently coexist to ensure that pharmaceuticals are readily available at all times. Hey. Medical Stores Limited is a wholly state owned company. Medical Stores Limited, uh, as you may know, is a very strategic uh, state-owned enterprise uh, that was uh, established in 1976 by government uh, with a mandate uh, for storage and the distribution of essential medicines uh, in the public health uh, system. So this is a very vital uh, institution um, that uh, contributes to the strategic uh, objectives in the health sector uh, in terms of uh, um, increasing availability and access uh, to vital essential medicines uh, to the Zambian people. But how does Medical Stores Limited fit into the national development agenda? The Patriotic Front Party government under His Excellency Mr. Katagorungo is pursuing a transformational agenda where we are looking at strengthening health systems to deliver universal health coverage. Now, for us to attend this, we need to look at fundamentals of our health systems. And key among us, these fundamentals is the supply chain. So Medical Stores Limited is that strategic institution that looks at storage distribution of our supplies. Medical Stores Limited is a strategic institution that talks to one key pillar in our health systems. And therefore, our relationship, or rather the role of MSL, is to ensure that 
the health systems through the supply chain of medicines is strengthened. Medical Stores Limited is supposed to be takes poor position in our quest to ensure universal access to safe and efficacious drugs for all. It means that we need to ensure that we have procured medicines. We have stored them properly and distributed them to the last mile. So uh, this is the role that Medical Stores Limited plays in the broad agenda. But I must emphasize that they are not a standalone institution. They are a cog in a matrix. MSL being an institution that is responsible uh, for warehousing and indeed for supply management of these commodities, we cannot uh, um, overemphasize uh, the importance uh, of MSL in making sure that you know um, the government agenda. Uh, in terms of improving the quality of life uh, of Zambian people uh, takes center stage. And uh, we think um, we are naturally uh, an institution that is supposed to ensure that you know, government objectives in terms of uh, uh, priority public health um, issues in Zambia are being addressed. This is Medical Stores Limited head office in Lusaka. Here you will find a state-of-the-art storage facility. This facility is installed with precision air conditioners for keeping medicines at required temperatures. Through the generous support from cooperating partners like the European Union, the head office warehouse is being expanded to increase holding capacity. The phase two construction of the warehouse is at an estimated cost of 4.8 million euros from the European Union. At head office, all received medicines undergo a number of tests to ensure that they are safe and meet required standard. This is done in coordination with the Zambia Medicine Regulatory Authority, ZAMRA, after which a certificate of analysis is issued. When this has been done, the medicines are now ready for distribution. This marks the beginning of the last mile distribution. The first stop of the last mile distribution is a regional hub. This is Choma, the provincial capital of Southern Province, where the regional hub for Southern Province is. Choma Hub was chosen in order for, for the implementation of the last mile strategy for the government. Part of the reasons that uh, Choma Hub was chosen is that um, it's along the line of rail. So being the first hub, lessons were, were uh, pe uh, people anticipated lessons to be learned so that uh, those lessons can be transferred to, to other hubs as the government throws out the hub strategy. The furthest facility that we, we, we are now supplying is uh, Imusho, which is almost uh, 600 kilometers from here. So uh, this facility actually it has got a unique uh, distribution uh, route because we actually pass through Namibia, through, through the, the Caprivi Strip, and then we cross again back into Zambia to do distribution. So if you look at um, uh, that facility, before it was difficult to, to, to reach that, but now our truck is there every time. One of the health facilities that is served by the Choma Hub is Nalube Health Post, which is located 67 kilometers from the hub in Mapanza's Chief Dome. The health facility attends to about 20 to 30 people a day. John Muchindu is a resident and shares his experience with the health facility. I was in the hospital in the hospital. I was in the hospital. I was 
Sogo, whom we have always been in the Amber, I'm in that Amber, Miss Amir Rajan, that previous one. Choma General Hospital is another facility serviced by Choma Hub. Dr. Abel Shawa is the medical superintendent for Trauma General Hospital. One of the issues that uh, I think uh, the, the drugs and logistics system has been uh, facing for, for a number of years is the issue of communication. Because when you, when you order drugs from a facility uh, to a central level, you can imagine that you have one office that is handling uh, drugs, uh, I mean the, the orders for the whole country. It is it's quite a, a big challenge. So naturally, the processing of that, I mean, it's, 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 it's taxing and it's a very serious sort of task for the people who are handling that. But with this system whereby now we have the hub, for instance, like the Choma hub, it's, it's sort of, I mean, things have been simplified. In order for quality health care services to be delivered to the people of Southern Province, the Ministry of Health has embarked on various projects through the provincial office. We have the major projects. We are very, maybe I should say that we are very fortunate and happy that we were the first hub to open, the Choma one. So right now the Ministry, through MSL, is constructing a hub that will be, the current one is being rented, but this one will be owned by the medical stores. Namenga Zono Health Center is one of the many mission hospitals that are being serviced by Choma Hub. But what is the aim of carrying out the last mile distribution? If we have to ensure that our people are healthy and we ensure that we target a rich the uh, legacy goals that we have set for ourselves. We have to eliminate malaria in the next five years. We have told ourselves, and we are seriously undertaking um, this route. We have said we want to reduce HIV, new HIV infections from 46,000 per year to less than 5,000 in a year. We have told ourselves we want to reduce maternal mortality from 398 per 100,000 live births to less than 100 per 100,000 live births. And in being able to do that, we needed a strategic partner like MSL to help us to deliver these commodities to where they are needed most. And right now, we have devised a very clean system, a very efficient system that enables the health worker, not only at the community, at health center level, but also in the community to be able to access that RDT to test malaria in, in the community, to access that coatum to be able to treat malaria within the community. We are able to get the HIV test kits right across the rivers where we need to test for HIV, and we're able to get those ARVs into those remote health facilities. To increase efficiency in medicine distribution across the country, Medical Stores Limited is constructing a mega regional hub in Choma, Southern Province. This hub will also serve as a strategic initiative to increase storage capacity for both Southern and Western provinces. In Western Province, the regional hub is located in Mongo. We have three types of facilities that we are servicing as a hub. We have the health center, we have the hospitals, we also have the district health office stores. The purpose of ordering is to keep buffer stock so that when the facilities run out, maybe before they could place orders or before we could do the distribution, they are able to go to the district stores to 
secure the commodity. So in that way, we avoid stocks out. Then also the district office helps in uh, doing assessments in the facilities. Sometimes some facilities could be overstocked with certain essential medicines. Therefore, the district office is able to collect such. And in relation with the hub, we are able to do what we call redistribution. Despite the sandy terrain in Western Province, Medical Stores Limited is managing to carry out its last mile distribution to the most remote areas of the province. This is Katawa Health Facility in Nalolo District of Western Province. The health force is approximately 228 kilometers from the Mongo Hub. This is a Katawa Rural Health Center yeah, with a catchment population of uh, 2,778. And we have uh, this divided in uh, neighborhood health committees, which are about five with the furthest being about uh, 13 kilometers from, from the health facility. And uh, in regards uh, the supplies that we receive from MSL, I think since the introduction of MSL, uh, we've seen a situation where in terms of transport, like transportation of drugs from the, from the main point to, to, to the facility, that one has been eased because previously it was mostly entirely up to the health facility. So with the coming in of OMSL, I think we are, we've been helped. Nawanika General Hospital is one of the biggest health facilities that is serviced through Mongu Hub. I start by giving a brief uh, profile of Leonica General Hospital. It's a second level hospital with a bed capacity of 300. Yeah, among the services offered, we have OPD, ART, we have a laboratory, we have radiology, eye clinic, dental, and of course we also have inpatient treatment. The opening of the lab has been a blessing to us. And there is a timely delivery of uh, drugs and uh, medical supplies. It has also improved in communication. Uh, with the central MSL through the lab. We have a focal point person there who is a commodity security officer. Then also there's been an introduction of uh, the electronic logistic management information system. Sometimes we do have challenges with uh, this uh, facility. The hub being nearby, they always come to our support whenever we have challenges. Information communication technology is at the center of every organization's strategic planning and medical store is alive to this. Systems that have been implemented by medical stores include the following. We've got uh, electronic logistics management information systems. This is more like an ordering system that our, our facilities use to order drugs from uh, medical stores. This is an online system and it requires uh, internet access for you to be able to use it. And then we've got also uh, another system called uh, electronic uh, Zambia inventory control system. This system uh, gives us real-time real visibility of the, uh, the stock status in the, in the facility. The European Union, through the Health System Strengthening Program, HSSP, remains a true companion to the Ministry of Health and Medical Stores Limited by providing support to institutions to see them thrive in their mandate of providing quality healthcare services to the Zambian people. Well, um, the European Union, uh, as you know, has uh, an important partnership with the government of Zambia. In this particular case, we are collaborating in a program which is uh, meant to strengthen the health systems. We support MSL with approximately 4.8 million euro. Um, why do we support MSL? Because MSL has an important role in terms of storage and in terms of procurement. More and more, there will be a transfer of procurement responsibilities 
which will be from the Ministry of Health to the medical store. And this will be a, along a path in which they build up their capacity because there are two things which are important in this business. Number one is to buy at the less expensive cost, so efficiency in procurement, but also effectiveness in the sense that you have to procure with uh, uh, sufficient time in advance before the expiry date of the medicine, you have to properly store them, you have to make sure that the flow of the medicine from the moment of procurement to the hospitals and to the health clinics is going to be as smooth as possible. To thrive in its mandate of making sure that all public health facilities have all essential medicine, the Ministry of Health has over the years been engaging various partners to assist MSL. We've had a very cordial and um, uh, mutually beneficial relationships with our cooperating partners and we have received extensive support in infrastructure expansion, in human capital development, in transport systems, even in operational costs. So we have received tremendous support from our partners. And I must emphasize here that government appreciates the strategic relationship with these key partners who have helped us improve medical stores limited. The European Union has been a strategic partner and they've supported expansion of infrastructure. They've supported many aspects of the distribution and supply chain. They include the US government through USAID for various programs. They include the World Bank, the Global Fund, the UN family, that is UNFPA, UNICEF, and so on and so forth. And we've worked with many other cooperating partners. The United Nations Development Program through its Solar for Health has installed solar panels at Medical Store's head office to supplement its energy requirements for the head office. Our relationship with Medical um, Stores Limited as well as the Ministry of Health has been a long relationship in order to ensure that there's health system strengthening and access to um, drugs and equipment to fight against HIV and AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria. Our initial relationship has uh, looked at um, strengthening the work of the Medical Stores Limited to be able to provide drugs, equipment across the 10 provinces in Zambia. We have not only assisted in the infrastructural works that have um, made the central system work, but also supporting um, infrastructure for the regional hubs that provide medical services, um, equipment and drugs around all of the health centers within Zambia. Construction of cross-docking hubs to increase holding capacity for medical essentials is taking place in various provincial capitals, including Copper Belt and Chipata. The construction will make it possible for the hubs to hold buffer stock. It is evident that Medical Stores Limited is living up to its undertaking of making sure that more than 2,000 health facilities in Zambia are fully stocked with essential medicines against all odds. Hence the tagline that will stand the test of time, Medical Stores for Life.